Hello everyone, my name is Amar Oruj and today I will tell you how to make a best possible CV for a student. Your CV is the simple most important document in your job application. This video will teach you how to write a compelling CV. One thing is certain, there is no such thing as a perfect CV. That's because the content of, uh, content of ideal CV is determined by the position and the person who is applying. Employers use the information in your CV to decide how suitable you are for the position. That means you should tailor the information in your CV to each position you apply for. Start by asking yourself this question. What do I want the employer to think of me after reading my CV? Once you know that, you will know what to include, remove or emphasize in the CV. This video was created for the Bosnian job market. If, you'll be, if you will be applying for jobs in other countries, you should research the rules surrounding job applications there. So, let's go. Here is an example of a CV that I made and to show you the best uh, structure. I will leave the, this CV template in the link. Uh, uh, I will leave the template of this CV in the video description. So, first is the CV. Uh, first of CV is the personal information. Your personal information. I created a fictive character by the name of Mira Lapanto, and I will go through every each of this key of these points. Uh, first is the uh, personal information. You need to have your name and surname. You need to have your email. Best possible is to have it as simple as possible, name.surname at gmail.com. Also, you need to have address. Address is optional uh, and is depending of if your employer is uh, asking you to put it. But please be aware who you send this information because this, this is confidential information. Next, you need to have your phone number. Next, you need to have your LinkedIn Profile, profile, and it also needs to be simple name slash dot surname. Next point is profile. In this section, you need to write something about yourself, something uh, that you uh, some few sentences that that are telling your employer uh, that he, something he needs to know about you. Uh, which, what are you studying, at which university, some of your uh, experience, skills, uh, some of your uh, languages, something that is that you find important to tell. Also, it is good to uh, put some goal uh, at, of your career. Next point is education. Uh, I think this is the most crucial point of a CV, because here you show your employer what have you done uh, in this segment of your life. Uh, it is best to write from your high school to your present education. For example, you are studying at university. Uh, in here we can see economics, uh, common department of management. It is very good if you are applying uh, for a job, for example, in management uh, section, to write some modules that you were studying that are important for that job. For example, here is accounting, microeconomics, reduction to business and statistics. Also in this segment, it is good to uh, list awards, awards that you achieved during your university period. Also, uh, it is good to put the grades beside your uh, subject name because some employers are wanting to know uh, to know your grades next thing is volunteering volunteering is uh, also very crucial such as uh, also as uh, work experience but uh, but at this example uh, 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 Mirella has no work experience but she was doing volunteering at a save the dogs charity uh, in this example, you need to provide exact details of your responsibilities, include which skills you have acquired, and include which results you have achieved. 
uh, you can list all of your volunteering because if you have no work experience this is your main thing you need to tell here everything that you have done every little thing that is crucial and worthy of mentioning next thing is achievements achievements is everything that you have achieved in your uh, life some awards uh, if you had some position of responsibility uh, everything that you find important you need to put it in achievements everything that you achieved during your life put it here next point is additional skills here you need to put everything that you know how to do everything that you are capable of doing for example if you know languages put some languages uh, and it is good to put the level at of of that level of that, of that language uh, how do you speak for example if you speak german and you have a b2 certificate you need to put it because it is good to have some certificate or diploma to back that information up next thing is for example if you know microsoft office it is good to put it in segment of additional skills because some employers are looking for people with microsoft office skills or you can just say i'm proficient in video making taking pictures painting uh, anything that you are good at put it here and the last but not least important thing is hobbies and interests here you need to put uh, your side activities sports that you are doing uh, the, if you like traveling if you are like reading uh, everything that is your side activity and also you need to put achievements and results maybe if you competed in some sport or what you traveled uh, if you reached some uh, mountain top everything you need to put it here and the last thing is you need to make your cv look nice uh, it is because in the first 30 seconds of uh, of employer when he's reading your CV he is deciding yes or no and it is most important to go to the yes section and how do you reach that section it's by you need to say uh, important but not uh, complex stuff and you need to you need to bold everything that is important for the employer to breeze through it and catch everything he needs to see and put you to the yes section and next thing is do you need a picture of yourself it also depends of what employer likes and if he wants you to put it if, if he wants you to put the picture also it depends on the role and the position you're applying for and i think i covered everything that is important for this topic i hope you have great future in front of you good luck and take care